Happy Wednesday, everyone. Mostly clear skies out there right now, but we do have some clouds trying to push in a little further to the west, a little further to the south. Just a hint of what we have on the way as we go over the next 48 hours, in particular later Thursday into Friday. Winds picking up quite a bit, especially out on the coast, Shasta Valley and east of the Cascades. That's courtesy of a pressure gradient, essentially the difference between high pressure and low pressure. The closer those systems get to each other, the windier it gets. And we have low pressure out off of the coast. We have high pressure over land. A combination there bringing those gusty conditions. Some gusts up to 65 miles per hour expected as you look out towards the coast and a little further east of the Cascades. So windy, but mostly dry as we go through tonight into Thursday. Thursday, you're going to start to notice a bit of those changes as the winds pick up. And then later in the day, if you're out on the coast, start to see some showers. Keep on going into the weekend. We'll start dry, then we'll get windy and dry, and then we'll get windy and rainy as we go through Friday and Saturday as low pressure starts to move on in. Let's look at it with the 40 48 hour forecast pinpoint forecast give us an idea of what to expect over the next 48 hours of course and you can see mostly clear skies out there as we head into Thursday morning so nothing too unusual here just yet let's keep on going in the afternoon though there it is. That's the front. That's the leading edge of the system. And we tend to see the winds pick up with these systems from south to north. So a lot of winds, you can even see it in the direction here, essentially from the southeast. So areas like the Shasta Valley, the Rogue Valley, east of the Cascades around Summer Lake, and of course, out on the coast, that's where we'll see those highest winds, those north-south facing valleys. But it'll still get breezy in other areas like the Illinois Valley, which is more of an east-west facing valley. Again, it's taking its time getting here, though. So as we go into the day Friday, Friday morning, that's where we'll see some of the heavier rainfall for the coast. Eventually, as I mentioned, taking its time, but eventually heading into the afternoon Friday, there we go. Start to see more of those showers move further inland with snow still pretty high up in the mountains. It's just a little too warm out there, especially as this front arrives. In terms of rainfall, it's a decent amount, especially for the coast, but this is Thursday afternoon. Mostly dry, windy, but mostly dry. Let's keep on going through Friday, and there we go. The heaviest rainfall amounts out towards the coast, especially in Curry County. We're talking several inches of rainfall possible for some areas that usually get a decent amount of rainfall. So we will be watching for flood conditions as well. Adding everything up, look at those wind speeds. I think this is the main thing people are going to notice throughout the area, but especially in those typical areas, the coast, Shasta Valley, east of the Cascades. It's getting windy out there. Look at Montague and Wairika in particular. That's one of the higher numbers. And wind speeds continuing. These are sustained winds for some areas as we go through Thursday and Friday. Getting breezy as well in the southern Rogue Valley, for example, Montague, Wairika, and out towards the coast. So those winds increasing and then eventually dying down as we get later in the day on Friday. But at the same time, those showers starting to move on in. So for the coast tonight, becoming cloudy, breezy winds with that high wind warning. This is for late tomorrow into Friday morning. As I mentioned, some gusts up to 60 miles per hour possible in the West Valleys, mostly to partly cloudy as we go late tonight into tomorrow, starting with some clouds, then we'll clear out temperatures back to the 50s and 60s. So tomorrow not looking too far off of today, but we'll see more clouds and higher winds and east of the Cascades also trending that direction. It'll take some time getting there, though. So a high wind warning that's late Thursday through Friday. Some of those gusts, as I mentioned, up to 65 miles per hour cold tonight, a little warmer tomorrow afternoon. So big changes on the way. Sunday looks like the next real dry day outside of Thursday. And for the most part, Friday is actually trending dry, but windy. You're going to see the clouds roll on in. Showers late in the day. Rain likely on Saturday. Bit of a break on Sunday and then back to the showers as we head through Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Klamath Basin also trending that direction. Windy and at times rainy with a mix of rain and snow possible Saturday morning. And then the next week on again, off again, rain and snow showers possible. Northern California, very windy, especially in the Shasta Valley. Showers arriving a little bit later. We're talking later Friday into Saturday. Chance of rain and snow next week. And out on the coast, very windy conditions. Decent chance for showers starting in Coos County, moving further to the South Curry County with high winds and plenty of rainfall expected Friday. And then a bit more towards showers as we go through the weekend into next week.